So we moved into our love nest last summer and it's been a very slow process of decorating this place, let's be honest. It took me way too long to trick Max into getting rid of that awful TV stand. So today we'll be decorating our apartment in a God-honoring way. First things first is we're gonna go get our coffee table, which we've been waiting to get for two weeks, and it's finally here. Let's go get our baby. I hope it fits. It'll fit. You know I always make it fit. <laughs> Ta-da, so this is it. That's the one we're gonna go for. Cutie pie. Wow, what a big strong man. The way decorating works in this household is Max would place an item somewhere and then I would move it someplace else. And then the cycle just keeps repeating itself. Ready? This is my gay vision. <laughs> I've been reading this self-help book called Love is Letting Go Fear. We also bought flowers for the first time ever. We're usually pretty cynical about making purchases like these, but these ones are from Costco, so yeah, they might be useless decor pieces that will rot in a couple of days, but at least they were on the cheap. I can't feel anything. Have you ever done this before? First time. In terms of arranging them, we absolutely have no experience in doing that, so we just did what felt right. And that often meant subscribing to our OnlyFans. Just kidding, we don't have one. We're not very good flower gays. After pretty much bullshitting our way into being plant gays on YouTube, we didn't come up with much, but at least we had moderate fun for half an hour. Ooh, I love that. All right, time to decor. Mm -hmm. This project is basically the blind leading the blind, so this is us aimlessly doing what we think could look potentially Pinterest worthy. Anyway, here's what it ended up looking like. And then it's chips and salsa time for Max and Yas. That's gonna leave a stain. Thank you so much True Earth for sponsoring this portion of the video. True Earth is an amazing company that's been on a mission to eliminate single-use plastics from ending up in landfills and oceans. Hashtag save the turtle. So what was their solution? They created these very unique, eco-friendly laundry detergent strips that comes like these. I was really pumped when they reached out to me because I've been looking high and low for laundry detergents that are ethical and works well with my very soft, delicate, and sensitive skin like my feelings. So they come in a simple and compostable packaging like this. Get a piece and tear it off like this and you can use this for a single load. And then all you have to do is just put in your machine like this. Like what? That's literally it. You don't have to worry about measuring, no mess. I love that it's so nice and easy to use. Ugh. Doing my whites today. I cannot go back to bottled detergents after this. This is just too good. I've been using the fresh linen scent these days, which makes it smell a lot more put together than we actually are. And it also comes in a baby formula and fragrance-free version. What blew me away though was the cleaning power of their products. My whites are seriously looking so good. No more salsa stain on our undies, right babe? Right. I really want you guys to try out their eco strips. You can use code MAXINJUST10 for 10% off. They ship worldwide to 55 countries. Links will be in the description below. Definitely check out their company if you're looking for an ethical, eco-friendly solution for your cleaning products. It is such a worthwhile company to look into. Next on the agenda is painting time. I honestly had no idea what to expect from this project, but I was hoping some personalized artwork could look either nostalgic or extremely uncomfortable to have hanging around our apartment. But you know what they say, insert quote about something aspirational. We spent way too much money on something that we definitely don't know how to do. Oh sh! Broken. Well, I guess that's why it was only fourteen dollars for all those brushes. These are like the training bras, of paint brushes. So this is my inspo for the painting that I want to do. It's a photograph by Ruben Ortiz. I'm gonna go back to my roots of kindergarten and do a turkey with my hand. 
Can I just put my hand in it and like squeeze it there? It's your artistic decision. Mm. My artistic? Artistic! <laughs> oh, the color of the rainbow! I get the feeling that Max was a bit nervous about showing off his drawing skill. I'm gonna take off my reading ring. Sorry, I don't want to put paint on it. Mm -hmm. It's stuck. I'm like biting my lips because I'm nervous. Hey, I made this. <laughs> Look, yellow and blue mixed together give green. Who would have known? How much would you pay for this painting? I'll give you five bucks for it. Um, you know what? No, I think it's gonna just dry on my finger and not gonna show on the paint. God damn it. Cause you're taking too long. <laughs> no, it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> What was the naughtiest thing you've done in school? Me and my best friend were pretty bad at making fun of people. You know, it's a defense mechanism because... Did you bully people? Yeah, kind of. Oh. But then I regret it later on. I'm glad. You know. You're probably bullying people because of like internalized homophobia. Mm -hmm. People were calling me gay before I even knew I was gay. Until I was like, huh, I am gay. I think I was watching George of the Jungle or something like that. <laughs> George of the Jungle. I hate you. Isn't it cute? <laughs> Stop showing off, yes. Mine's gonna end up looking like a diarrhea. So we finally pushed through and finished our painting one hour later. Ta-da! Let's never do this again. Okay, so the original plan was that we were gonna paint something nice to hang up and we'll have something nice and personal to look at and we'll look back to this day and think, wow, remember that day where we bonded over a beautiful and very personalized painting? Well, we're not hanging it up anymore for obvious reasons. And finally, we arrived to an integral part of spring cleaning. It is time to come out of the closet. Nope, wrong closet line. It's closet cleaning time. Since it's nearing spring, time it's time to clean out all our clothes let's pick out the ones that doesn't bring us joy anymore so hey i thought i still spark joy sometimes um i got this for my best friend when he got married it's me when i was still slim and fit this was max's and then he gave it to me because he shrunk it in the dryer i bought this from zara kids two years ago now it's going in the donation pile how about those pants <laughs> should i just keep working out in those <laughs> should i get a new one your call bro <laughs> Does it make my booty look smaller? Okay, I know you like this sweater, but it's a toss. No, that you should keep. I like it. I refuse that you throw that one away. That's a keep. This is a toss. I don't know why I bought this, to be honest. This is a toss. This one is too small as well. This one's also too small. Does it fit you? Don't give me your yellow t-shirts. Uh, yes, look. Look what I found. Do you still need this? <laughs> yes. Keep. <laughs> I used to wear so many ripped up skinny jeans. It's a toss. I know you hate, hate, hate. My heart and old thing up, but that's a key. Oh yeah, look, bunny yas. It's the mascot of our channel. Mm. You mm. kiss, kiss him. You have to kiss him. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for me, bro. I'm done. Why? Wait, no, you're not throwing that away. Look, isn't he cute? Yeah, he's cute. You keep. You keep. Okay, you keep. You keep. No, you keep. All right then, let's pack it up. Last chance. Are you sure we're saying bye to the yellow pants? Pack it up, sis. But I like to work out at the gym and look like a bee. Thank you, bye. Hello there. Enjoying your new decor? Mm -hmm. I like it too. I like this table. It's cute. Cute like you.